What's going on, Aces? Welcome back to the channel. When I heard this story, y'all, I felt blindsided. Okay, that's the title. Blindsided. The blindside bombshell. Michael Orr alleges that the Tui family tricked him into conservatorship and denied him film payments. So he is the retired Ravens offensive lineman, an NFL star whose supposed adoption out of homelessness and poverty by a wealthy family was the basis of the 2009 film, The Blind Side. He is now petitioning the court in Tennessee, okay? He filed a petition. The story of the former Baltimore Ravens line, lineman, Michael Orr, is one so wonderful that even Hollywood couldn't refuse it. Or is it? The now NFL retired star whose supposed adoption He's filing a petition with the Tennessee court claiming that the whole premise was merely a fabrication by Sean and Leanne Tui for the purpose of monetary gain. The petition alleges that the adoption of Orr as a high school student by the Tuis never actually happened. When I first read this story, y'all, I was heartbroken. Like I really... At first I was mad, but then I just, my heart just broke for him because he had gone through so much. He was so vulnerable and all he wanted was love and a family. And I'm going to really try to get through this without crying because, and I've started this video over like three times, okay? but um, what they did to him was just so evil. Okay. I'm going to keep reading. Um... Instead, the Tuis tricked or into signing documents, making them him them his conservators after he turned 18 that allowed the couple to have legal authority to make business deals and decisions in his name. So they, uh, oh man, they took him in when he was 17, he was homeless. They said that, um, you know, they want him to be a part of his family, of their family, they knew that's what that boy always wanted was a family and love. And as human beings, you know, we all want that. And they used that just basic human need to trick him into signing away his life story that they stole from him. Also detailed in the petition is the allegation that the Tuis used legal power to make the deal for the Oscar-winning film that garnered the couple and their two birth children more than three hundred million dollars. They not not only did they steal his money and not give him a dime, they gave the money to their two biological children who did absolutely nothing. And that's and you know. The fact that they profited so much, this movie made $300 million and it also, um, you know, earned Sandra Bullock an Oscar, which by the way, y'all leave her alone. <laughs> I just made a video. Y'all can go back a couple of days ago. I feel so bad because she, Sandra Bullock is catching all the strays. Okay. I'm like, not y'all online uh, talking about trying to revoke her dang on Oscar. Okay. She has nothing to do with Leon and Sean Tui being from Ole Miss, and they're from old money too, by the way. They had, they were worth millions. I think Leanne's worth 50 million and her husband's worth 25 million. They were already millionaires. They already owned, you know, all these franchises of Taco Bell and KFC, and they were already rich, but yet they're going to steal from him. They gave their they kids who already had trust funds and already had, you know, all this money stacked up money from the back, the sweat, the labor from Michael Orr and didn't give him a dime. I'm going to keep reading because every time I think about this story, just it makes me even matter. In the years that followed, the Tuis continued to describe Orr as their adopted son. Lies. Okay. They lied to him. He just found this out. He just found out y'all February 2023. Now, usually, you know, I can keep my cool and I don't be getting upset. But I mean, just the 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 layers, the onions, peels of evil that just keep unraveling. I'm like, oh, Jesus, help. They described him 
as their adopted son that they stole his money from Ooh. and used that connection to promote their foundation as well as Leah and Tui's work as a motivational speaker. She, what is she going to say? That we took, that we took a homeless boy in before he turned 18 without any lawyers, without any, you know, parental guardians, had him sign papers saying that they were adoption papers, but they were conservative ship papers. What in the Britney Spears? <laughs> Stole his money, gave his money to our two kids who did nothing. They, they already were rich, by the way. But we knew this boy had nothing and stole the money that he did earn, didn't give him a dime. The lie of Michael's adoption is one that the co-conservatives Leanne Tui and Sean Tui have enriched themselves at the expense of their ward, the undersigned Michael Orr, the legal filing says. Michael Orr discovered this lie to his chagrin and embarrassment in February of 2023 when he, that is so heartbreak. Could you imagine the people that you thought had adopted you, lied, and stole your money? When he learned that his conservatorship, to which he consented on the basis that doing so would make him a member of the Tui family, in fact, provided him with no familiar relationship with the Tuis. The petition is asking to end the conservatorship, not at his big age, not, not them still being the conservators, in the year of our Lord, 2023. The petition is asking to end the conservatorship and issue an injunction preventing the Tuis from using Orr's name and likeness for any purpose, as well as for the couple to pay Orr, absolutely, for his share of the money gained from the movie and other business ventures. Since at least August of 2004, conservators have allowed Michael specifically in the public generally to believe that the conservators adopted Michael, what in the savior complex? and have used this untruth to gain financial advantages and social capital. I'm, I'm adding that. I'm going to add this article so you guys can read it for yourself without my inside commentary, but I'm just saying that they really put these unearned capes set, you know what I'm saying? These set Superman capes <laughs> and they lied to this boy's fight. <sighs> my God today. Um, they use this untruth to gain financial advantages for themselves and the foundations which they own and which they exercise control. These people are super villains. Do you hear me? Like the cartoon kind, like the ones that Scooby-Doo <laughs> would unmask. Oh my goodness. All the money made in said manner should in all conscience and equity be paid over to said ward Michael Orr. Absolutely. They owe him hundreds of millions of dollars. Do you hear me patting themselves on the back with all the fun? They smile in your face all the time. They want to take your face. The backstabbers. <laughs> backstabbers. I'm telling you, that's exactly what they are. Super evil. Anyway, I don't want this video to, <laughs> to be a super long rant because every time I think about it and the more layers that I uncover about this story. I mean, it's just layers upon layers of evil. So I'm going to pivot to his beautiful family that is seen here by People Magazine where his wife and his kids, you know, he is surrounded by love. He does, he does have a support system, which I'm really grateful for because those snakes took someone who they knew had nothing and had nobody and stole from him. Not only stole his his money, but also his freedom and his innocence and his... <sighs> he says for all these years, Orr stated that he was content with the arrangement, saying that the inspirational message outweighed the pain caused by what he knew was an inaccurate depiction of his life, but now he wants the truth to be known. He says, there's been so much created from the blind side that I'm grateful for, which is why you might find it as a shock that the experience surrounded the story has also been a large source of some of my deepest hurt and pain over the past 14 years, he wrote in his book, When Your Back's Against the Wall, released last week. He says, beyond the details of the deal, the politics, and the money behind the book and the movie, it was the principle of the choices some people made that cut me the deepest. 
That is so sad. Y'all, I want to hear from you because that's the end of the, of the article, by the way. So ooh, I got through it. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> Let me do it. I mean, I was seriously, y'all, I was in here shaking and crying and throwing up. No, not really. But I was, I was, I was mad and I was heartbroken. And I did have some tears in my eyes because they did him so dirt, McGurk. They did him dirty. And you know, I'm a big believer in you reap what you sow, good, bad, and other. Everything that I've done in my life, good, bad, or ugly, is indifferent. I've so I've every everything I've so good, the bad, the ugly, I have reaped. And I truly, truly believe that every single one of us, no matter if you sow good seeds, bad seeds, whatever, you will reap them. I'm telling you that law is just as concrete as the law of gravity. Okay. So these people have sowed some, they're going to reap it. They're going to reap it. With that being said, y'all jot down in the comments. Let me know. Allegedly, right? <laughs> Everything on this channel is alleged. Drop down in the comments. Let me know your thoughts. Please be sure to like the video. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. And I will talk to you later. Take care, aces. Bye.